my journey of making the Sharpie Coupe, um, I found it was an evolution of learning where to buy the supplies and where to find things for lower costs, where to, um, and what supplies to use. You know, a lot of times, different glues, different things. Um, there's so much out there. And for us uh, weekend warriors, people that are building boats, who are not blue water sailors, it's an awful expensive to try to make something that's going to be able to go across the sea. Uh, so we have to balance the cost with our usage and our environment um, and our safety. Um, endorse any other suppliers uh, other than that. From my experience, I found that uh, they might have been a little less expensive or easier to get the product. Uh, that you need to be able to build the boat. Um, we'll start with um, a website called Woodfinder. And Woodfinder, um, basically you put in your, your area code and the type of wood that you're looking for, and it will give you places uh, in your region where you could buy that type of wood. Um, for below waterline for myself, I used um, uh, white oak for, for the plywood I used the marine base Okumi and Mariani plywood uh, there are two different uh, vendors um, Okumi Mariani Mariani tends to be a little stiffer uh, both are excellent for marine application I started out building the boat, and the first thing I actually built out of plywood was the, uh, the dagger board box. And I used, uh, I went to the local lumber and I got some uh, dug fur that was marine grade. Uh, and I built that box. And um, since I was building it outside, I noticed though, after a year or two, uh, and it was covered with a tarp. Um, it was delaminating a little bit, and that made me real nervous. Um, so I went with the more expensive Okumi and the Mariani. Um, I would strongly recommend that uh, to get those. Um, what I did was I used the Okumi where I had to bend around the, fr uh, around the frames, um, and then I used the Mariani for some of the top decking. Um, and I probably went to show and missed it. Uh, they have an active wooden boat uh, boat yard, and they have their own sawmill where they cut trees. Um, and every year at the wooden boat show, they sell remnants from the giant boats that they build. Um, so I was able to get some pretty nice white oak uh, for the bowsprit and, uh, and the frame of the boat uh, there at very inexpensive cost, along with uh, some nice pine boards that I was able to use for the planking for the bottom. Um, Woodfinder, um, well, what I would suggest is, you know, you go to your local places, but if you're going to get something that's pretty plentiful, like white oak or, um, you know, or you're looking for a, a, a local cedar or a pine, um, and they have those trees in your region, you more than, uh, likely will want to go to a mill. Eventually, mill, Moore's Mill up in um, above Hartford in Connecticut. Um, and they were actually, for pine and for um, the white oak, they were actually less expensive than the retail places. Uh, and work there seems to be very plentiful uh, all the time. Um, but so recommendation is wood finder. Um, it's uh, easy to use, doesn't cost anything, It's just, but it's a good way to be able to find the wood that you need. Okay friends, that concludes part one. Thanks for watching. If it, you found it useful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Alright, have a great day.